Yeah. And, um, it's hard to believe that. I know. Mm. No. And I understand um, that you might be facing federal charges yourself in relation to this behaviour? Uh, yes, I've been... There's not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. But, yep. um, I mean, I was... I sat on the on the on the fence for several years trying to see if anybody else would speak, and yeah. they were all just too scared. They were intimidated, yes. mm -hmm. and then I realised that regardless of consequence, that every day that I don't do this, maybe I do deserve to go to jail. Maybe I do deserve to go to a court of law. I think I do. I mean, if if some of these people that I did this to came up and said to the police he did that, I. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to say I did that. Yes. If, they've, if they're going to prosecute me, they're going to prosecute me. Mm -hmm. I did do those things. I thought I was doing the right thing at the time. And I mean, I was following church yes. policy. I'm, I didn't make these decisions up arbitrarily. Yes. These policies exist in the church to do what I did, and I thought I was doing the right thing yeah. at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Australia's my home. I'm over here in New Zealand now because some of my family live over here, but mm. Australia's my home, and uh, I'm going to come back there and, and face this. And if the Australian Federal Police are going to prosecute me, then I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to defend myself, but I can't, I can't deny what I did. Yes, yeah, yeah. And I understand that um, you said something to me about that uh, you're not actually supposed to be speaking publicly or you um, lose um, protection mm. under the law. Can you explain about that? When, the, when uh, Mr Nick Xenophon made his statements to Parliament, he was protected under parliamentary privilege. And mm. thank God we have that privilege yeah. in this country. Okay. Yeah. That, that a politician can for that because he can always be corrected later on by an investigation which shows his allegations were false. Yes. Okay. And I was informed after that that after he had spoken in Parliament that if I spoke out after that, that would be considered a waiving of, of the source of information and there was nothing to stop anybody, including the church, pursuing me. Yes. The reason why I, I breached that and wanted to speak out is because we are talking about liberties of other people and I'm not prepared to sit back for one more minute and let another abortion be coerced, another parent told they can't speak to their child, another child shipped off to the United States in their secret location in Los Angeles where they can't even see public people. Yeah. I'm not going to allow that to happen for one more minute. Yes. I think you're very brave and you're showing a high level of integrity and I know that you have a lot of pain mm. about what you, you did in the past but I think you're doing what you can to correct that now. I understand that you sent your own brother to the rehab force in the penal colony. Do you want to speak to us about that? I think it's important that un yeah. people understand the level of control, control. that the church and the sea orgs have over their members people talk about you know the evil lord xenu and all that sort of stuff and scientology is a big joke but there's been abuses of human rights here so if you'd like to speak a bit about that about your brother okay well the penal colony is known as their quote rehabilitation force mm -hmm. and it's the organization where members are made to uh, wear black outfits they are not permitted to walk they must run they must do hard labor they are not allowed to communicate to any other human beings via written or spoken word unless they're ordered to um, and it's a harsh life where most people fail and when they leave they're just too messed up and in Los Angeles my brother uh, did the most horrific thing and touched and heavy petted with another female that was his crime that was his crime and consensual that was his crime it was consensual touching yes. and kissing yes it was consensual yeah was it another Sea Org member? Was the woman a Sea Org member? Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. yeah. And because he was my brother, um, after the justice action was taken, I was asked, what do you want to have done with him? And I said, send him to the RPF, send him to the penal colony. Wow. My own brother. I mean, oh my... <laughs> He's my own brother, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he's just a year younger than me. Yeah. He just was... And I had to be that person, that that tough uh, SEAL member, that messenger that could do that, to send the message out to everybody else that no one no one gets away with it here, not even if you're, not even if you're my own brother. And then I watched what he went through in there. Yeah. And 
the years after he left, the troubles that he had with the idea of females and, and, and anything to do with them because of the punishment that he received for just being a young boy wanting to just explore being a young man for God's sake. Yeah, yes. Yeah, you spoke a lot about that on, on your yes, YouTube. YouTube videos um, and um, more and more Sea Org members are coming out and speaking about this stuff, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, I was married in the Sea Organisation briefly and uh, my, my own wife was interested in trying to leave but she knew she best dare not speak to me about it and one day she came home to my birthing and she told me that she was pregnant. You know, and I told her, if you're pregnant, you're going to get an abortion. I don't want that child. It's anti-Sea Org. It's anti oh, wow. it's, it's, we're here. And that was the end of my marriage with her because she came back and told me later on that, you know, it turned out to be a false hoax. That she wasn't really pregnant. But at that point, it didn't matter to me because in my eyes, her purposes weren't set on being in the Sea Org for life. And I asked and I wanted to divorce her. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how did you break away from this level of mind control? Because you were obviously totally controlled. You totally were immersed in this culture. How did you break away? It, it's what happened in 1995 that was just terrifying. Um, in the in the major international location in Los Angeles, um, things went way out of control. We started disciplining people all over the place for just any given reason, and we started having staff leave and we had to replace and we had to recruit and the turmoil that was created and I stood back and look, looked at this and went according to Scientology it says you can measure the success of any organisation by its immediate environment and I looked around my environment and realised how many people were getting divorces how many people were giving up the option of having families mm -hmm. and to me I went oh my god I'm creating this we are yeah. creating this these are the most unhappy people I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And I still didn't have the courage to leave until, and I don't know how much I should say about this, but some intimidation tactics were employed on me yeah. outside, and I realized that there was a chance that I was going to become a heavy target for them, and I ran for my life. And they came chasing after me through Los Angeles, and I made an agreement to come back um, if they were not to go see my family in New Zealand, not to approach my friends in Australia, and to leave me and my brother alone, and my mother in New Zealand. And in exchange for that agreement, I had to agree to undergo six weeks of interrogation locked up. If I didn't agree to it, they were going to firstly label me a suppressive person. Yep. They were going to disconnect me from anybody that I'd known and my whole life was the last six years was the sea organization. Mm -hmm. That included trying to disconnect me from my own mother. And I couldn't bear the consequence of that, so I did it. And after that, I was just so numb that um, I left. But I believe it or not, after I left the Sea Org, I still believed in Scientology. Yes, yes. I and 